Being on the cutting edge takes a lot of work. Voila, you've got and then a nice clean cut. And a lot of crayons. I think it keeps you young. Uh, it's all about ideas. Herb Williams' ideas range from colorful wallflowers to green bulls to bright yellow dogs. Can I touch it? Please, yeah. I mean, you can't hurt it. It's, um, it's not precise. Williams admits crayons are unique artistic tools, but says they spark his imagination and creativity. I work with crayons, but I, I try to think of larger ideas, and so far, crayons have been the most exciting. He's been crafting his multicolored art for five years. The idea, he says, came to him in a dream. I just had the sketchbook by the bed and immediately wrote it down and haven't stopped. That's fantastic. I, I this spring, working. Williams was a featured artist at a Washington, D.C. exhibit organized by the Smithsonian. His art used to sell for a few hundred dollars. Now it goes for as much as a hundred thousand. You're making big bucks now. Let's, yeah, let's hope so. Considering the amount of colored wax he has to buy. There are actually a million crayons in here. Easily, I, I lose count usually. That's probably a good thing, but maybe not for fans who've been buying his sculptures. My decorating style is, is early to late herb. <laughs> so um, I can't get enough of him. Beverly Keel and Ron Stein have been buying Williams' art for years, even requesting custom-made creations like his vision of the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, called the Torah. Herb took that concept, not being Jewish, did a tremendous amount of work to understand that in the Jewish religion, the Torah is called the Tree of Life. Is there anything you won't do? I've, I've said no to only a couple of projects just because they're, they're so commercial. I, I want to do things that have meaning and, uh, you know, can't make you smile. William says his new success makes him appreciate how far he's come. Every artist I know is starving and we all dream of breaking out. And to see it sort of happen is exciting and terrifying at the same time. A picture-perfect moment, one crayon at a time. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Nashville.